Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? So what do we have for Cancer? Two cards out. September. At any time in September. I just saw the hangman, so I'm not sure if you guys are struggling. You may be struggling with letting go of something. Going through a period of enlightenment. You may be sacrificing yourself needlessly, but learning some sort of lesson. You are learning some sort of lesson. And it's a struggle. The struggle to gain a new perspective is real. You know, the hey man's about gaining a new perspective with time. You know, and that may mean that you are in a period of suspension. You know, you're in a, it's almost like being in limbo. You may be, you're in a period of limbo because there's a new perspective that is needed. You may be thinking about everything that has happened, you know, and it, there's a need to process. There's a need to process and a new perspective is needed. So I feel like you're in a state of, of, of limbo, you know, right now because I feel like there's a realization that a new perspective is needed, but accepting that new perspective isn't easy. So I feel like that's where you're at. You may be isolating yourself. You may be, maybe you're going through some sort of inner transformation. Okay. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So it feels like you are protected. October is very prominent for you. I don't know if you are dealing with somebody that has been born in October or October is a major time of transition, you know, uh, this upcoming October. This means you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio or something that has to do with a previous October is very prominent. This, uh, there's probably something that you know, if you think about October, that's it's kind of like harvest time. So I feel like there is something that is going to happen in October. Interesting, because I remember I said I saw the hangman. We got elephant. Okay, this elephant card says, A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So I feel like you are going through a period of enlightenment. Um, it's like an inner transformation. You're learning some sort of lesson, and it has to, I feel like it has to do with, you know, changing your perspective on something. You may have some sort of belief that is no longer, because the hangman is about a belief. It's like, it no longer fits the situation. You know, maybe, maybe you need to change your beliefs. <clears throat> What do we have for a new perspective? The hangman is about gaining a new perspective, but it's the struggle. The struggle is real to gain that new perspective. And I do need to apologize. They are doing the yard outside today and there's nothing I can do about it. It needs to be done. So what do we have for cancer? I feel like it's a time of change. It's a time of enlightenment and time of suspension. You know, as you are re-identifying, it feels like you're re-identifying your beliefs. We just had at the right place at the right time. So you may find yourself at the right place at the right, right time. Somebody is in an unrequited love situation. You take a look at that dog. We have a dog there. We also have a, well, looks like it's uh what's another name for cat okay it looks like this dog really isn't interested in the cat okay but the cat really wants the dog so I'm using a, a very nice word for cat 
But I have to tell you, this dog is not interested. So we got somebody here that isn't interested. And I feel like that's what's causing your period of introspection. It's like, this is an unrequited love situation <clears throat> and struggling to let go of it. You know, when we get ourselves wrapped around a belief, you know, it's hard to change that belief. Okay, so I feel like you're you're stuck. You're in a plate. You're in a period of limbo right now. We got somebody here that is unfaithful. So I also feel like you're going to find yourself at the right time, right place at the right time and you could win something big. This doesn't have to be money. This is a big win. You know, sometimes when uh, there's protection here, right? There's protected from negative forces. But there's Rejection is God's protection. I feel like you have been in a situation where you were rejected and letting go of that because the, the, the hangman's about pride. It really is. It's about ego. It, do, it is definitely a card of pride and ego and stubbornness and struggling to let go. When our ego gets hurt, when our pride, you know, when our pride gets hurt, you know, it's hard to accept and we wonder, you know, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do to accept this? What do we do? What do we do to um, cause this, you know? Uh, let's not accept this. That was the wrong word. What did, what did we do? What do we do? It's our pride that gets hurt. So I feel like you are about to win something. I feel like you are about to hit the jackpot. But, but, there's an unrequited love situation here where somebody was, was unfaithful that you need to stop hanging on to. I feel like there's a rejection that is God's protection, but we have somebody here that is unwilling. It's, the struggle is real. The hey man, the struggle is real, 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 real. I do feel like you're going through a period of transformation. You're you've learned you're learning some sort of lesson. Maybe it's about false beliefs. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So I feel like you have somebody else here. Maybe you're fearful. Maybe you're restricting yourself because of, a, of something that you're hanging on to. I mean, the hangman is about hanging on. Okay, you're hanging on to something that is unrequited love. And I feel like you have, an op you have a winner here. I feel like you have two options. You have an unrequited love situation, which you're struggling to let go of. You have a winning situation here, which you need to make the effort for. You need to... It's like... You're being guided to take efforts in a new direction, but hanging on to that perspective or that belief that you need to wait around for somebody that isn't interested or wait around because of something you've been told, you know, trying to prove something, you know, I'm not wrong, I'm not wrong, you know, this is, this is my belief, this is, this is like uh, wasting time, but learning a lesson. Anyhow, I do believe that you are going to find yourself at the right time, at the right place, at the right time. It's it's like you're going to, I feel like you're going to run into somebody that could change everything. What do we have for cancer? Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins is a golden opportunity. It's a new investment. It's great health. It's a gift. Okay? Some of you may be starting a new new uh, endeavor. Okay? You may have a new uh, business, a new job, a windfall even now with the jackpot card. Some of you may be, may, if you are playing the lottery, there's a good chance you could win. And this is like playing the lottery. It really is. You win some, you lose some. 
So I do feel like you, ha this is like a win. It is a win. You ha It's like you are going, this is a stable offer. It's like you're receiving, you are going to be receiving something that is real, that is solid, that is stable, that can lead to long-term, something permanent. Okay, so you are gonna, this is a gift. You are receiving a gift from somebody. This is a gift. This is a yes answer. Four of Pentacles in the rever in the past. It's not reverse. It's upright. This is holding on. It's like in the past you've been holding on to something for dear life. Obsessed. This is an obsession. Obsessed with holding on. Woo! In the future, devil reverse. That's breaking free or things getting worse. This is obsession as well. So this is letting go of an obsession that you, something you have been obsessed with hanging on to. Could even be fear, could be ego. Maybe you've been afraid, maybe you've been in your ego, you've been struggling to let go, you've been struggling to open up. Maybe you've been sacrificing yourself, going through a life lesson, going through a major transformation, protecting yourself. I feel like you have a golden opportunity here that can lead to something long term. It will help you to break free from this mental turmoil. This is freedom, so you are breaking free from something or things getting worse. I mean, if you don't break free, things are going to get worse. If you don't break free from this obsession or addiction, whatever it is, things are going to get worse. This is freedom. This is freedom from a codependent situation that you were obsessed with or addicted to. This is free. This is breaking free. So you are breaking free. You may be deepening a bond with somebody else. Eight of Wands, upright, communication, good news, going back and forth, messages going back and forth. Back, I can't speak. I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde or what. Uh, going back and forth. And there's force, obviously I said force. But the devil is about force, but it's breaking free. It's like some, I do feel like we have somebody here that's tr been trying to force a connection. This is somebody that is obsessed. They are obsessed with control. They are in some sort of illusion because the shadow, it, the, the devil is, uh, you know, it's a shadow energy. This is breaking free, breaking free from breaking the chains. It's almost like you can't force somebody. And it's like somebody has been trying to force but this is breaking it. It's breaking the chains, breaking free, breaking free from an, 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 an obsession. <laughs> Cannot speak. Obsession. Eight of Wands. There's gonna be. There's gonna be uh, movement. You're going to be communicating with somebody. There's going to be a lot of communication going back and forth. It's not with the toxic individual that. I don't know if you, you were in some sort of ego or lusty connection with this person. It may have been disguised. You know, it was, it was, may have been, you know, disguised as love, but it wasn't. It was just lust. Breaking free from a codependent obsession. This is freedom moving forward really, really fast. Get, receiving a gift. Receiving a solid offer. This, you are going to be moving forward breaking free from an addiction or an obsession. I feel like there is somebody here that is going to help you. I do. Seven of Pentacles. There could be relocation here. Time's up. The season is over. That season is over. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to plant your seed someplace else. I feel like uh, something has come. It's come to, it's come to the end. Okay, it's come to the end. It's time to get your. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's it is, get what you got and go. I feel like you have invested in something and it's reached its peak. Now it's time to go. It's time to go someplace else. And you're probably going to be thinking about it. You're thinking, and I, I do see thinking with the hangman. Really, really thinking. 
thinking about investing someplace else. So I do feel like the, that you are thinking about that. You may even be starting something new. Some of you could be starting a new business or you're, or you're moving. Maybe you're buying a home or you're wherever it is that you're going. I see movement. It's like you're, you're going to be breaking free from something that is toxic. Whether you're be somebody, you're be, this is helping you get rid of an addiction, or it's helping you get away, get a, get rid of something that you were bound to for all the wrong reasons. This is freedom, freedom from those chains. It is. It's freedom. Investing in something new. You're gonna be investing in something new. You're being given an opportunity. This is something that leads to long-term stability. Queen of Cups, that's your energy. So the Queen of Cups, this is self-love. I feel like it's self-love. I also feel like there is somebody that's going to be offering you some sort of emotional support. Could be another water sign. To uh, I don't know why I said Taurus. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be a Capricorn. You do have somebody here. And I feel like you're looking for love. You're looking for love. You have a lot of love to offer. I feel like you are... If you are this Queen of Cups, which you probably are, you're going to be receiving a lot of messages from somebody. This person... Um, is giving you an opportunity. This is something real. This is something solid. This person um, is going to be investing in you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, they are secure. They are very secure. Somebody is giving you a secure offer. And I say that because of that. Now, the Four of Pentacles is connected to this Queen of Cups. I, I'm not sure if you have been communicating with this person. If you haven't, I feel like things are going to change. This could even be somebody that is at a distance or they've been at a distance from you. They may be at a different location. I feel like you're going to be in your emotions. I feel like you... There could even be somebody that is... In, I feel like we have somebody here that is, I don't know, somebody's breaking free from you. Just being honest, I do see freedom. I, I, somebody is breaking free, okay? Mirroring, we got the Queen of Cups. Mirroring the Queen of Cups is the devil reverse. So that is breaking free, breaking the chains, getting out of this toxic situation, investing in something else. Somebody could be getting blocked. You may be blocking somebody. I do see stop the obsession. So I don't know if somebody is, is telling, if you're stopping the obsession, somebody is stopping the obsession. Those words could, you're stopping the addiction. Something is coming to a halt. Knight of Cups, you are going. You are going to be receiving an offer. You are going to be receiving an offer. This is somebody that is looking for love. That is looking for a relationship, right? I feel like somebody is going to be approaching you. This is romance. This is somebody that is very charming. That is very sympathetic. That is going to be taking care of you. That is looking for love. This is somebody that is creative. That is peace loving. That is nurturing. Somebody, I feel like you have somebody that is going to be giving you something emotionally fulfilling. They're, maybe they're going to be courting you, you know. I do feel like it's emotional. It is. It is definitely emotional with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. You're going to be in your feelings. 
I all and, and and you know the Knight of Cups is behind that Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to infest. They are determined to find a relationship where there's that's not toxic. There, you, we also have, I feel like we have a nurse here or a caregiver or a counselor or somebody that is very empa empa empathic. You know, this is an empath, very caring, very kind, very gentle, very loving, very sweet that is going to be giving you some tender loving care. You're going to be getting some tender loving care. You are. I don't know if you're going to be falling in love with somebody if you're not already. Maybe you're falling in love with yourself. Breaking free. Investing in new territory is going to bring you emotional fulfillment. You are receiving a gift, okay? Or you are going to receive something solid. Maybe it's an offer. Maybe it's from a bank. Maybe it's it's from somebody that has money. I don't know. You're, or somebody that is in a position to help you. Somebody, you are receiving something that is going to break you free from some sort of toxic situation that you have been holding on to for dear life. This is a win, and I, it could even be money. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're going to be really happy with this offer that you're getting. Woo! Ten of Cups reverse. Now, the Ten of Cups reverse is an unhappy relationship. There could be a relationship that has ended. This is a dying dream. This is... Uh, broken relationship, right? I feel like you have been, there could be a change on the home front, a change in a family situation, not happy, not happy with the separation, not happy with the with the ending of a previous relationship, but everything happens at the right time. I really feel like you've been holding on to a previous relationship. I put it right next to the Four of Pentacles in the past. I don't know why because I feel like that relationship is over. I feel like, I feel like, I don't know if, if, if leaving home is part of this, you know, or if it has to do with the family, it has to do with the children. It's like, it's time for you to accept this new offer. This is, you are going to be receiving something that makes you very, very, very happy. Somebody is really, I feel like somebody is going to be deepening a bond. I think I said that already. Somebody's going to be deepening a bond with you. It's somebody that you may not have invested in as of yet. Because I feel like you've been obsessed. I feel like you've been obsessed with something um, a previous relationship. I feel like you need to go no contact with somebody. You need to stop. You need to block them. You need to stop contacting somebody that isn't interested in you. I feel like you need to break free from that mentality that you that you're that you can make something come back to life that is dead. I feel like you have an opportunity here for love that could bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Somebody's going to be pursuing you or you're going to be pursuing them. I feel like this is a golden opportunity to break those chains and chains and start over. This is a winner. But I but if you 
I feel like there's a need to manage your emotions and this it's really hard to accept change this is like not going with the flow not accepting it's like I will not accept that something is over death comes before this card I will not and there's addictions here this is this is uh, repeating negative patterns over and over and over again this is a need to re-examine this is not healthy this is inappropriate behavior I feel like there's some profound self-healing that is needed there's healing from addictions healing from obsessions there's a need for something better they're trying to bring you something better but this is unable to, to manage those feelings and accept change and going overboard, maybe even self-medicating. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is very addicted and things are going to get worse if you don't heal, if you don't take this secure offer to break free from this addiction, whatever it is, it's a codependency. It's a false belief. It's not serving you. Stop. Stop. You have a golden opportunity here for success. If you want great love, you have to break free from the darkness. You need to invest in new territory. Let go of your fear. Open your heart in a new direction. There is somebody here that I feel like you can deepen a bond with. This is not the person that you have been in a relationship with and have been obsessed with. You are being guided to invest in new territory. Let go of your fear. Open your heart. Stop wasting your time. Let go. Let go. I feel like a lot of you are protecting yourself. You're protecting your heart by holding on to, I don't know if it's a fantasy. That's self-protection, subconscious self-protection. You're somebody, you're, you're going to be receiving an offer or an invite or, you know, you may find yourself at the right place at the right time where you connect with somebody that can help you to break free.